we're going to talk about the biceps and the, where the biceps attaches to the, the socket. So if we look at the socket here, right? And if you can imagine your ball is here. And so the, the bicep comes up the front from your biceps, comes up the front into the, it comes up over and attaches the top of the socket like this. And there's the stuff that goes around the socket and that's called the labrum. So we have the biceps attaching to the labrum. What the labrum does is actually deepens the socket. So we say the socket's really shallow um, as far as almost like a dinner plate and the labrum kind of makes it almost like in a shallow bowl. So it make, gives more stability to the shoulder joint itself. So there's different kind of labral tears. And so the, we may have damage to the biceps here. We have, may have damage to the biceps, we call the biceps anchor, where the biceps attaches to the labrum. We may have some fraying of the biceps, or we could have different kind of biceps tears where we have a big tear in the front or below or in the back. And so when we talk about labral tears, it depends on what's going on to determine what we're going to do. And so this can be in conjunction with a rotator cuff tear or rotator cuff irritation. So the few things that we need to know, if the biceps itself is damaged, then we, it's very difficult to fix the biceps tendon. If you have a tear like this, you can sew it back together, but there's not a very good healing potential. So typically we wouldn't do this. Typically, if it's really crappy here, we're gonna release it and we're gonna reattach it somewhere else. If it's really bad here, unstable. So this is one of the many times in orthopedics we have mnemonics or, or, or we have abbreviations. So this abbreviation is SLAP. SLAP stands for superior labral tear anterior to posterior. So superior, which means on the top, labrum, the labrum, anterior to posterior. So it goes like this, and that's a slap tear. There's a few different kinds of slap tears. The most common slap tear that we see is just come degeneration, some fraying. We go in there, we clean it up. It's not really a big deal. But the next most common is an unstable slap tear, which means this biceps as well as the labrum is are pulling off from the bone and we have to do something different so what we do is we put an anchor one or two depending and we reattach it on on either side so that would be a slap repair and so i can tell you that if you're looking at a 40 50 60 year old person with a labral tear we're not doing the slap repair because it's not that kind of tear that kind of tear is seen in the 16 17 18 year old pitcher which we fix right there so if we have a slap tear in the adult population, 40, 50, 60, we will, we will release this. And again, we'll reattach it somewhere else. We'll clean up the labrum, release the biceps so it's not pulling on that tear and reattach it somewhere else. If we have the slap tear, we fix it here or we debride it. And depending on where exactly the tear goes, we'll determine what we do. And different kinds of slap tears occur uh, from different injuries and different age groups. So the most common that we would talk about mostly in an older adult population that we would see in, in addition to rotator cuff repairs, which could be an unstable or fraying, we treat similarly in that we release it and we reattach it somewhere else.